Hello, everybody. My name is John Hammond, and welcome back to some more Miter STEM CTF. This is the 200 point challenge in the Linux category, uh, and I need to put up a full frontal <laughs> disclaimer that. Um, Real props to uh, another individual on the Discord server, R4J, that was really kind of um, helping me understand this and, and kind of guide me through it. So I cannot claim any credit for this. This is this is absolutely his baby, but it's very clever and very cool, and it actually ties into um, the Smasher machine on Hack the Box. If anyone wants to go do some extracurricular and take a look at that and, and, and read up read up a bit on that. So the challenge is called Race You for 200 points. It says, let's find out who's faster. And we have the SSH connection again here. So let's move into a directory where we can work with this. Let's call it 200 Race You. CD into that and uh, create a little connect script just for funsies. Good. Mm, mark that executable. All right, cool. So hit yes if you haven't connected before. LS, let's see what we've got here. And we have this file, again in red, so we can assume that that has a set UID bit set, and it, it does. It's owned by root, but it, when we run it, we become the privilege of, of root. So we can use this file to do things that root could do, but and otherwise we could not. Uh, so file checker.c, we can read, and that is assumingly, presumably, the source code to this. So let's actually check out what that is and says. That's the binary, cool. Let's, <laughs> let's check out the C source code. So um, it includes some stuff, and then it sets these macros. It defines UID equal 1,000 and GID to equal 1,000. Um, that correlates to our account. The, our UID and GID is 1,000. If I run the ID command, you can see that, and that... That goes for the files that we own. When we create new files, uh, if you ls tack n, you can actually see these columns here. Like if I were to touch anything, let's do ls tack n again. Bring it to the top here. You can see that because this is owned by me, it has a thousand and a thousand as its UID and GID, user ID and group ID. So this is zero because it's owned by root. And if we were we need to be able to determine something that will fit this criteria. When we open up a file given as an argument, argv1, so we need to have it supplied as an argument to this file checker program, uh, it determines if the UID on that file and the group ID on that file XORed with a thousand and did together those two is equal to zero. So let's just do some math on that, right? Let's do, if we owned a file that was 1,000 and we XORed it with 1,000, we would get zero, okay? And if we ANDed that with something else, we would get zero. So as you can see, when we actually do this on a file that we would own, this would evaluate to true. It would say you win, and it would read the contents of that file for us. So we essentially can only read things that we own, right? If we were trying to access something that root had owned, so zero XORed with a thousand and it with zero XORed with a thousand, that's going to return false. So it'll just say access denied. So if I were to, my nice little anything file, if I were to say, uh, please sub, redirected to anything, cool. Now if I ran file checker on anything, it says you win, please sub. Okay. Um, now we have an interesting dilemma, because we want to be able to read this root flag.txt file, presumably, um, but we don't own that file, and we couldn't give that to the file checker. It just would not be able to play nice with it. It'd give us access denied. So, what do we do? That is where the guidance and hint from kind of this, this challenge title and this challenge description is, is race you, let's find out who's faster. This is a race condition. We need to be able to create a file that we own and then do some sleight of hand with it. Like say, uh, I actually want you to go be the root flag.txt. So then, if we use file checker in that same instant or very, very quickly, it will say, cool, this is owned by CTF or this is owned by John or whoever you are. And then suddenly, whoa, let's read it, but it's instead it's the output of the root, dot, root flag.txt file. So uh, this is peculiar and done in an interesting way. We're going to have to script this and automate it, right? Because we're going to have to probably hammer it and try and get this race condition to work. Again, 
props to R4J on kind of nudging me in the right direction with this and actually <laughs> holding my hand until I figured it out. So, thanks. Uh, my phone's going off. Let's try and create a script, but we don't have Nano. What about VI? What about Vim? Okay, god dang it. What about Ed? We don't even have that. Do we have Sed? No. Oh, <laughs> I guess we have Sed. Good luck, everybody. So, the cool tactic that, again, is an option for us, and more props to R4J on helping me determine this, is that we could go ahead and cat anything that we wanted to redirected to a script file. And then if we wanted to, we could just write a script like that. Bin bash, uh, let's say echo, please sub, cool, and then let's check that out. Now we have it created as a script that we can run, chmod plus x script. We can run that and it would do it. So, neat. Let's, on in a sane text editor now, let's go ahead and create a script that we can work with. Let's do miter, um, actually I'm in YouTube miter now, aren't I? Sorry, once I like show like my home directory, like part of me just freezes because I'm like, oh god, what could people see? What could they know? You know? But you guys aren't you guys aren't weird like that, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, so bin bash, right? Let's do this in bash. Let's create a file. Let's just touch a file that we own. So let's call like my file. It really doesn't matter. And then let's immediately remove it so that potentially. It if we had the file checker run and work with it, it could read it if it got it at the right time. RM my file. Goodness gracious. And then let's go ahead and just ln tac s to get a new symbolic link or a kind of redirected target or a shortcut to root.txt, root.flag.txt to my file. Since we, we had to remove it, so ln tac s would be able to actually create the file because otherwise it would it would say oh this file already exists. I should make this bigger for you, and I should probably bring it down so you can see it. My bad. So now this is n not running the file checker. Um, what you could do is you could try and have it uh, like run the file checker just as you let's get a tilde there just as you create the file and then hopefully remove it. But that is a little bit too procedural. That doesn't work the right way. We're going to have to kind of separate these two create file massage file and actually run the file checker in different different scripts or in different loops and different different durations and, and things so that it's not a procedural thing. Yeah, I created the file. I want to check it, but I want to remove it. That does That doesn't work as well because... The timing just doesn't work out. The procedural thing will get in the way. So if you have each of them running in their own different loops, have file checker repeatedly trying to grab at this file that we're kind of creating and then removing and then replacing, that might work, right? So I'll show you how that's done. And actually, R4J has explained to me and showed me how that's done. So we're spreading the knowledge here. That's what this is all about. That's why we do capture the flag and cybersecurity stuff. So we've created the file. We've removed it. And now we want to create a symlink. We're going to do that over and over and over again. So let's create a while loop for that. A whole loop. A whole while loop. <laughs> uh, do and do this. Now take note that because I'm trying to ln tac s and then recreating a new one at the same time, uh, I actually need to remove my file one more time at the very top so we don't iterate through this and then go back to the top of the iteration and try to touch a file that already exists. We have to remove it again. So interesting thing, whatever. Now we've got this repeatedly working and going and, and, and trying hard. So let's go ahead and put that into a script on the system. There. Good. And so now if we were to check that out, we've got it. Let's mark it as executable and let's run it. So it's going, it's doing its thing. But right now we don't have our, our bash prompt back. So we can't have, we can't do anything with that. So let's go ahead and background this. So now it's running in the background and we've got our shell back. So you can see my file is being created and et cetera, et cetera. Like if I watch tack n zero, maybe I can see this ls tack l. Yeah, you can see my file is, <laughs> Going crazy. There it is. Every now and again, it's something that we own. Every now and again, it's redirected. Yep, you can see just barely what it uh, redirects to, the, or it sim links to root.txt, root.flag.txt. So this is cool. So we've got that script running, and now we want to be able to run file checker. Again, in its own loop, a separate thing, so it's trying to pull it and reach it just at the right time. 
let's do while one dot slash file checker with my file. And this is going to be a little crazy and sporadic, but let's do it. Uh, I need to do. Never mind. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> Go. So it's doing it. It's doing its thing. Uh, a lot of times we get an access denied. We get a couple of segmentation faults. We occasionally see a UN in there. Um, the random garbage bytes that it's trying to see are actually uh, when it's an empty file. So the timing is just a little bit off. Um, what I've had to do repeatedly is kind of uh, actually... Oh, what bad. It creates a new session for you every time that you connect, so that's kind of very annoying, and you'll have to recreate your script every time. So, script.sh, Control-C, sh my plus x script, I'll run script in the background, good, and then let's do while one, do dot slash file checker, my file, done, and let it go. So, hopefully, at some point, we'll get lucky and see a little curly brace at one point. Um, I don't know how well grep will work with this. Sometimes I, I, have, I have not seen it actually work that well from my testing. So this is what we should supposed to do. This is what we should do, but it's going to take a little bit of perfecting, and I know that sucks. So what I've had to do when I've actually just got a lot of pretty constant access denied, I've actually just ran the script again. Oh, what is going on now? What is going on? Let go. <laughs> All right, let's 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 disconnect from that. Let's do that. I don't know why I backgrounded ch mod. I hope this showcases just how finicky this is. Um, Oh, it was. I saw it. It happened. Maybe you guys might have better luck with grep than I did, but I thought, like, let's just let it go. Let's watch it. Let's see it happen. And let's try and catch it when we got it. Because I know I saw it. It's probably not in my buffer. It's probably just out of reach. There it is! <laughs> just just at the very top of my buffer. <laughs> Alright, so that is the flag. And that is how to do it. Oh my goodness. Um, I, I hope that's cool. I hope that was interesting. I hope it wasn't agonizing, just kind of waiting it out, trying to see if you can get it. Um, maybe, maybe we had better luck with grep. I guess I'll try it. Why not? We got time. Okay, I think I've waited long enough, and we haven't gotten any results yet. So uh, again, I just have not—I had not gotten into work with grep. I don't know why. Um, it's just a matter of like watching it and seeing it happen. Which you got to be quick on the trigger, quick on the draw. So uh, <laughs> hey, that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. I know it was kind of weird. I know it was kind of finicky, but um, maybe a really cool technique. Some race conditions that you're just cranking through and bash. So. Uh, if you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server. Or come hang out with us. Uh, it's a really cool community full of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. We do a lot of competitions like this as often as we can. I try and jump in there. We'll hang out and party in the voice chat. Uh, it's a blast. So please do come join the community. If you'd like to support me, I have a Patreon account and a PayPal. And I am super duper grateful for you. So thank you. Can't say that enough. Um, see you in the next video, guys. So I, I literally like stopped recording and then it and then it got it. <laughs> so uh, hey, grep will work eventually. It's just super finicky. Actually, hit Control C and then it let it go. So take it for what it's worth, I guess. I don't know. Get out of here. Stop watching this video.